your eyewitness weather forecast. All right, so you know, it felt like winter out there today. It was cold. It still is here tonight. Uh, and a little taste of winter uh, in terms of wintry type precipitation tomorrow. We'll let you know where, but as is typically the case, you know, you get into this time of the year, late March, winter never really lasts. It's cold out there tonight, though, with a temperature of 24. Winds are calm, sky is clear, but we're going to start to add a few clouds to the sky later tonight. And then what happens later tonight is the wind will shift into the south and west. So if anything, these numbers will actually start to go up a little bit uh, by tomorrow morning. So we'll call it like low to mid 20s as clouds increase later tonight. Again, that southwest wind will help uh, give rise to temperatures later tonight. Now tomorrow, the high temperature might not occur until just before the stroke of midnight. So what I've got indicated here is what it will be during the day, somewhere in the mid 40s with mainly cold rain showers. However, it will be marginally cold enough some of the higher elevations and over the Adirondacks for yeah, some uh, wet snow. Only talking like a slushy inch or two. And again, that would be mainly confined to the higher elevations uh, in the uh, Adirondacks. So a mainly clear sky now. Clouds will continue to increase through the overnight. 25 here in town over to Ilion as well. Uh, pretty cold up into the central Adirondacks. Albany is at 30, 29 right now in Buffalo. Toronto is at 34, 37. Detroit Motor City. So why was it so cold today? Well, at 850 millibars in the atmosphere, which is about 5,000 feet up, it was like minus 12, minus 13 Celsius. So when it's cold up there, you can't warm it up down here despite a high March sun angle. But we are going to see that cold air start to relent uh, a little bit as a warm front uh, comes through. So you can see some moisture gathering here over the uh, upper uh, Great Lakes, Michigan. And then a larger storm system that's going to traverse across the country and be here by Saturday. Out ahead of that one, it really warms up. There's that little burst of snow coming up tomorrow. Then mainly cold rain showers. Could stay as snow in the Adirondacks for a little while. Another round of rain comes in Saturday morning, but then watch what happens. This quickly shifts to the east. We clear the sky out and then we get towards four or five o'clock. Notice this signature here. That could be a feisty line of thunderstorms that comes racing through here with some gusty or damaging wind late Saturday because we're going to get this tremendous push of warm air and a little bit more instability in the atmosphere. So that could be some oomph to get some uh, frisky thunder showers going by late Saturday. It'll be warm too. Highs in the mid 60s. Not warm tomorrow. Cloudy sky. Uh, mainly cold rain showers for the Mohawk Valley. Adirondacks, probably a little bit more in the way of wet snow. Uh, Mohawk Valley, mainly cold rain showers, highs low in mid 40s. And for Otsego County uh, on your Friday, low to mid 40s with any light wet snow over to mainly rain. 70 forecast, there's the warm day Saturday, gusty wind with a round of storms developing in the afternoon. Again, some could be strong. Clearing out colder again Sunday, so like it was today coming up on Sunday, but finally it looks like we get some more consistency uh, up in here next week. We could do 70 maybe by Wednesday. Looks like we'll be starting the next month with plenty of April showers. Yeah, they will be around, as but they should be, I guess. Warm weather to go with it, so yeah. we'll take it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Craig. There's more Eyewitness News coming up. We'll be right back. Stay with us.